Back in the 1700s, Lancaster was a very important port for Britain, but the problem was navigating up the River Loon from the sea. In 1779, the Lancaster Port authorities decided that they should build some docks nearer to the sea, and in 1782, work commenced at the village of Glasson. It was proposed that the cost would be £2,700. The work was finally finished in March of 1787, where apparently there were room then for 25 ships. All well, depends how big the ships are, I suppose. Doesn't look like room for me. In 1792, a proposal was made that the glass docks should be linked to the Lancaster Canal, but it was some years before this was put into effect. It took between 1823 and 1825 to build a two and a half mile branch where the level of water was brought down by 52 feet through a series of six locks between Golgate and Glasson Dock. So we're now looking at Glasson Dock from the east and you can see the canal coming in at the right hand side of the picture. The village of Glasson is on the other side of the marina and um, it's quite small, about 600 inhabitants. Of course, in time, railways began to take over from canals as being the prime way of getting goods to move around the country. And in 1883, a five mile branch line was built between Glasson Dock and Lancaster. Nowadays the tracks have been taken up and it's now a cycle track. I think they also refer to it as a linear country park or something. Nowadays Glass and Dock is more of a marina for leisure craft than for commercial shipping operations. Having said that, the port is still open a little while we'll see activity there. Most of the trade for shipping is from the Isle of Man and the Western Isles of Scotland and often involves animal feeds, fertilizers and things like that. Quite a nice place to live, I should think, one of those houses with the uh, gardens backing onto the marina. far side of the marina you can see the lock where shipping that is going in and out of the canal locks into the sea at high tide of course otherwise they lose all their water So here is the dock itself. No ships moored up at the moment, a little bit of activity going on. In terms of amenities, there aren't a great deal in the village nowadays. One pub, the Dalton Arms, used to be three. I remember certainly two of them. So that's our visit to Glass and Dock. Thank you very much. Hope you found it interesting. And from a nice day in January, bye bye for now. It's goodbye from her. And it's goodbye from him.